What's up? It's Ricky Bobber, and welcome back to my channel. I am here with the one and only Shay Lisi. <laughs> my first time on a Harley. Interesting. My first time on a Harley was a uh, Sportster S. Ooh, just had to do a battery change because I had 20% left, and that is dangerously low. But I am here at the IMS uh, Motorcycle Show 2020 here in Costa Mesa, um, also known as Orange County. And I am on a Sportster S. Okay. That's how you do it. So he said signals are here. Sport modes are here. We got standard rain mode. Sporty. Uh, which one's which? I can, I can tell that's rain mode. What's that one? That's just everyday ride mode. Okay. And then sport mode. Sport mode. Okay. Yeah. Rain mode. What, what's, uh, what do you recommend for like a novice? So we start everybody out in rain mode. We can change your modes on the fly. So rain mode and everyday ride mode. Uh huh. Pretty much the easiest. Okay. You'll notice with uh, sport mode, the torque can be a lot quicker. The throttle response is quicker. Okay. Loose the suspension, less traction, control, all that stuff. So. Oh, it really changes the suspension too. Really? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay. All right. Cool. Good to know. Thanks, man. All right. Here we go. Wow. This thing already, I can tell, turns on a dime. The fork is m more vertical than what I'm used to. So it turns really quickly. I kind of feel like this r this rain mode is um is a little too beginner maybe. Well, I'm going to try it out first. Uh this the pegs and the the brake and the shifter are basically I feel like in the same spot. Ooh. Suspension's all right. <laughs> It wasn't the worst. I would have felt that in my colon on my on my scout. So right now I have it in raid mode. I'm gonna go. So I do like that you can change on the fly with that. This is like uh, that's sport mode. Let's do standard mode right here. Very very smooth shifting. I like it. It feels very light and nimble. The handlebars are are a little bit higher than the Scout. Um, I think that I will say already that the the um, the rider position is more comfortable than the Scout Bobber. The shifter and the peg are a little bit more separated. I feel like I had to reach a little bit further out. Um, not a huge deal just different some some people may like that throttle response in standard mode I would say is about the same as the scout brakes are good where's my front brake there it is I do like okay I do like the position of the of the um, the rear brake it's basically right in front of the foot peg on the Indian scout it's a little bit offset it's a little bit to your left so you kind of have to uh, have muscle memory on your rear brake to get it just right. Come on, don't do this. Uh, okay, well, if you gotta go there, you gotta go there. It does feel a little rattly, like a little shaky. It's fast, it's really fast. Like it has more, it has more power. I can tell already. It does. I mean, obviously, there's 120 horsepower in this. The Indian Scout Bobber has 100 horsepower, and I can feel it. I can feel those extra ponies. I don't like where the shifter is on this one because it's right on my toe knuckle. <laughs> I feel like uh, it could be further out. I could use my whole foot to shift it, but it's weird because it's the opposite on the brake, like. It's kind of literally opposite of the um, the scout, so I have to put my foot in with the brake on the scout, and the shifter's fine. But on this one, I have to put my foot in with the shifter, uh, but the brake is 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 fine. So uh, a couple differences. I don't know what gear I'm in. Second, ooh. Now there is a bit of a length. There's a bit of a length on the shift. The clicks are uh, pretty far apart. 
Let's go in uh, sport mode. Shall I? So there's only 2,200 miles on this, so it's not like it's worn in too much. Oh, where are they going? I almost missed it. Yeah. They're a different group. They're the Yamaha group. Go ahead, go, go, go. Uh, he had the right away. I hate those. I hate those lights where it turns green for you to go, but it also tells the person to walk. My least favorite kind of intersections. Brakes are good. Brakes work. Ooh, sport mode, what a big difference, wow. Sport mode really starts to give, the power delivery is almost immediate. And the regular standard mode, um, your power delivery is a little further back. Sport mode, it's like instant. Woohoo! Yeah! How you like it? Cool. <laughs> I just said, how do you like it? He said, me too. So I guess that means he likes it. That guy looks like a biker. It does have the gear indicator, which is cool. I do like that novelty. Oh man, I gotta put my I gotta really put my foot in to shift. Oh man, oh man. <laughs> wow, it gets up fast. Oh, that could be dangerous. But it could also be fun. So I ran into Shay Tree and Shay Lisi just before this ride. I didn't record it though. I didn't want to be like, hey, I'm a got you on camera. Let me say hi on camera. No, I just ran into them and shook their hands and uh, off camera, but uh, they were very pleasant as usual. And uh, I, <laughs> I gave uh, I gave her I gave Shay Lisi something for Bilbo, a tiny little hat, little sombrero. I think I got it on camera. I'll, that part I did. I didn't record me running into them, but I did get me um, giving Shay Lisi that little hat. And then I gave Shay Tree a bottle opener that I had with some boobies on it. So. I had this already, and it's something because I saw your video the other day, and I'm like, okay, I got something for you. I'm this. excited. <laughs> <laughs> I got you the megaphone too. You remember? That was you. That was me. Oh my god, bro, <laughs> you have no idea. Okay, you ready? You don't know the power you gave me. That <laughs> I was uncontrollable. I yeah. was untamed, unhinged. I saw only saw like one person's video where you're using it, but it just seemed bro, like it worked. I so I actually made somebody. I left it at the house. I made someone drive. Oh no shit! Really? I was so upset Coco. that we got the megaphones. <laughs> well, check it out. This is for you, or Bilbo. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> California. Shut up. <laughs> got a Bilbo hat? I love it. <laughs> I'm gassed. Oh my god, this is great. Because this is about as close as Mex Mexico as we can get right now. But I, I would love to go to Mexico someday. <laughs> got something for you too. What the fuck, man? Yeah, here we go. You're so thoughtful. Oh, thank you. I love this. Ah! Ah! phenomenal, dude. I love it. I'm gonna glue be, a magnet on the back of it. I hate fridge. it. He, so, <laughs> be I, gentle though. You gotta hold it from there because uh, I've I got a couple awesome. of those and those legs break. Okay, I will. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking put a magnet on it. Put it on the fridge. He has the worst fridge magnets. <laughs> Dude, this rock, is man. amazing. This is a really fun bike. I almost can't believe I'm ready again. Not too many people have gotten their hands on this. So I feel lucky to do this. Man, and I feel lucky to do this because now I have weekends off. If I didn't have weekends off, I wouldn't be able to do this. Like, this is reason number 27 why I wanted to have weekends off. Well, it was actually probably more like reason number three. Yeah, buddy. Lots of power, lots of power. It, it is faster than the Scout, that is for sure. No doubt about that. This feels like like a bagger power in a small to mid-size cruiser body. This sucker is a, is mighty. It packs a punch. Would I own one? Hmm. The only thing I don't like about it is I don't not a not a big fan of the look. 
And also too, I was kind of worried about the, sh the uh, my video that I had before when I didn't ride this. I was comparing the bike really without riding it. I was just basically comparing specs. I was doing some torque torque type, type of stuff. Um, but I was also looking at photos of this and that exhaust seems really close to your leg. It's not that close. However, if you had two up, maybe the person sitting behind you might burn their leg. But right now, I, I don't feel anything, but it's only been like maybe, I don't know, maybe eight minutes. I'm in third and, uh, you know, I'm hauling. It feels really comfortable in third. I wonder if this has um, dual disc brakes. I think it only has one. It's just one. Who's honking? Oh, I'm in third. What am I doing? So it's really nimble. Like, like this thing, the turn radius is very sharp. So you feel it as soon as you turn. It, with the Scout, it kind of takes a bit. Maybe because the tire's so fat. This is a pretty fat tire, too. But um, I think the forks are just a little bit more upright on this one. So it's just pivoting a little sooner, I guess, mathematically. I don't know. I don't know physics. I'm not a smart man, but I know a fun bike when I, when I ride it. I could ride this all day, though, too. Now, would I take it on a long trip? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I kind of wish you were taking it on a freeway to see how it is on a freeway, because that's another test. It, it feels like it wants to be in third. The Scout is more like it wants to be in fourth all the time. So this maybe has a little bit more power around third gear than the Scout does. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, this is kind of a weird turn. Uh, there's a uh, stop sign right at the end of this. I just, uh, and again, I don't like the shifting on this either. But again, something you can get used to. <laughs> oh, my scout does not do that. It almost feels like any more than that, I'd be off the ground. The horn and the signals are really close together. This is good if you got to get somewhere fast. <laughs> That's the newest thing. Let's get some power. It's got a, a very unique look. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is much better than the FTR. So I just rode the FTR 1200 previous to this. And uh, woo, this is better, in my opinion. My first time on a Harley. Interesting. My first time on a Harley was a uh, Sportster S. Very short but sweet ride. In conclusion, do I like it? Yes. I can tell you I do like it. I did not like the FTR 1200, not for me. I do like the positioning of this. Uh, I like the power. It's got a lot of it's got a lot of power, which makes it really fun. Um, it's very comfortable. It's easy to move around, like find everything. I would recommend it. Would I buy it myself? No. I just don't like the look of it. I think the brakes are better than the Scout. I will go. I will go as far as to say that. Did I, did I go the right way? Oh no, I didn't. Oops. I did not go the right way. Oh, now I get to see how well it U-turns. Very. Oh, I had to put a foot down. <laughs> I went the wrong way. That's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, I got a couple more. I guess if you like test ride videos or, you know, first thought videos on bikes, I've got a couple more. I've got Indian Challenger. I've got Indian Chief. Uh, I've got the Indian FTR 1200. Where is the Harley one? Is it here? I think so. Yeah, HD. My leg is getting hot. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Later.